There is a beautiful mountain gum at Kew Gardens, Eucalyptus Dalrum Polana. Its leaves have a cinnamon scent. White flowers smell of vanilla. Its smooth, pale bark highlights striking architecture. In the culture of the First Nations peoples of Australia, the eucalyptus tree has been long held a sacred symbol. Encountering this mighty gum, it's impossible not to feel a sense of the reverential. In the novel Eucalyptus, Murray Bell writes how in Alexandria, a suburb of Sydney, eucalypts were grown in front of houses to ward off evil spirits and fatal diseases. I thought it must be at least a hundred years old, maybe two hundred years. In fact, it was planted just 50 years ago, in 1972. It's not hard to appreciate why the mountain gum, which is native to South East Australia and Tasmania, is now cultivated worldwide, along with many other species of eucalyptus, valued for timber for building and fuel, as windbreaks for highways and fruit groves, the provision of shade for eucalyptus oil, used medicinally for anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties, and in perfumery and cosmetics as well as for the unique ornamental presence of the tree in parks and gardens. Yet the human relationship with eucalyptus has been complicated at both the symbolic perspective and at practical levels. The eucalyptus tree is an iconic symbol that seems to crystallise our sense of all that is Australian Yet the oldest scientifically verified fossils of eucalyptus, dating to 51.9 million years ago, were found not in Australia, but Patagonia, Argentina, although there were no native eucalyptus found in South America today. When convict colonies arrived in 1788 at the wooded landscape around Sydney Bay, home of the Eora Nation peoples, and began cutting down trees, one officer complained that so many eucalyptus trees were rotten at the heart. Yet today, these tree cavities are recognised as wildlife havens rather than rotten cores. It is only after a century or more that the mountain gum develops cavities in the trunk. These hollows offer vital shelter, nesting and denning sites to native fauna, such as the sooty owl and the yellow-bellied glider. In an ecological context, such decay caused by wildfire and windstorm damage or termites of fungal attack is a precious feature essential to the biodiversity value of the tree. As I walk closer to the statuesque mountain gum at Kew, I realise that the genuinely impressive canopy is nonetheless slightly magnified by the crown of the black gum growing behind it, which wasn't immediately obvious to me as I first approached. And in my mind, this pairing seemed to symbolise the whole duality of our relationship with eucalyptus. It is both a holy spiritual tree and a practical economic resource. The compounds its leaves release into the atmosphere are regarded as a magical contributor to the famous blue haze of the Blue Mountains. Yet in an urban environment, Concerned researchers are now investigating the way these compounds may contribute to the human health risks of pollution. In California, the abandoned plantations of blue gum trees, whose wood proved unsuitable for the timber trade, are on the one hand perceived as an invasive threat to biodiversity and a fire hazard due to their flammability, yet on the other hand, lauded as precious and preferred nesting sites for native birds and for providing vital overwintering for the monarch butterfly. tiny bell-shaped fruits of the mountain gum seem to ring out with mighty potential.